Okay, now let's see some studies that were uh, that were done under well jujutsu under IQ jujutsu, better saying, and uh, which are quite um, quite particular. So, for example, he enters as a so I will first lock him here, and I will do a kote hineri, as we all know. But what we're what we're going to do is we're going to use this posture. Here. And now, by kneeling down, you can see it from this angle. By kneeling down, what we have is we have his wrist locked, we have his weight uh, just there, so we cannot roll yet. And uh, this pressure over his over his cough here, it really hurts. So this is uh, a way to immobilize. But uh, well, it's a particular way found in Aikido Jutsu. We are always worried about, uh, with the other hand, so he cannot stab or cut or fry. Now, other way under this same study that we could have is one side here. I could do it from outside, from here. So I just uh, put here so you can see, and uh, I'm having this and this. So we have the here, it's quite hidden, but if I take the arm out, you can see it easily. And here, and the, the weight of my body restraining his, his leg, reflecting over his femur here. This really hurts, really hurts. So, he is locked. And well, you can see that these same characteristics, for example, when he grabs here and we have Uragote. But we have a different kind of Uragote. We'll take him down from here and, you know, twisting and having this, this pattern, this standard, and always kneeling down. If I take his arm out, you can see his stretched elbow. And if I position, if I, if I assume I have this position and kneel, kneel he is locked. By the way, this is called Tokumura no de. And now, moving on, let's have another one still found in my Jutsu, called Yamamura no de, which he holds and as he tries to attack, I have to perform what is called Kito Meru, or to stop the key, to stop the flow of key, or his his motion in this way, so he cannot he cannot go on. Now more than that. Once I'm here, this particular den is what teaches us in Aikido Jutsu the, uh, how to use our, our footwork and, um, regarding the kicks. So always from, from this high, from our, the height of our knees uh, and lower, I could use kicks. So from here, for example, kicking ribs or kidneys or even face or putting him down and uh, keeping him locked and kicking head or weak areas. Uh, something quite interesting about this then, about this, this kicking idea is that he would supposedly be using uh, armor. So the idea is, for example, he is in Ayahami now, so he attacks me, where is this kick on the room, and now I enter. The idea is that the weight of the armor and the position itself would put him into a compression because if he is here, depending on the, the kind, the, the type of yoroi and how he would uh, put it on, bear it on, there would be, uh, the armor could absorb our motion, or impact. Now, when he is here and everything is um, compressed, when I attack him, my movement will, will reach his organs and the inner part of his body. So this was Yamamura, no day.